Do you want to get married? Qua uh, noivei. Eu quase casei. That's what you're looking for? Yeah. You're looking for marriage here? This show started off bad, and then it got really bad, and then it entered a new realm of bad that we've never seen before, and it became almost fascinating. If you didn't see my last video on this show, it's basically just the same concept as every other reality show, just take a bunch of people and throw them on, a, on an island in some sort of beach resort, and then the producers of the show just kind of sit back and record everything while they all argue and get drunk for a month. But this show has a spin to it. These three American men wanted to meet foreign women, but little did they know. None of the women speak English at all, and the guys are like, what? Does anybody know any English no. at all? No. No. no one speaks English. How are we supposed to communicate? How are we supposed to communicate? And more importantly, how am I going to explain to them I have 36,000 Instagram followers? So there's only these three guys. The show is presenting it like, oh, which one of these lucky women is going to get to go on a date with one of these guys? You can just sense the general disappointment when only these three guys walk out. They look like Jovi strip club buddies. A small bunny is very cute. So it's like automatically you just think like, oh, look at this cute, cute creature. <laughs> I just want to give her a hug. There's only been three episodes so far, and this show is already filled with uncomfortable moments. When we left off, everybody had just met for the first time, and now the guys are going to start asking some of the girls out, and it's pretty much unbearable to watch. So I don't know if you felt it, but I definitely felt a little bit of a connection between us when we were staring at each other for like two minutes. So I'd love for you if you came on a date with me tomorrow. What do you think? Yeah, dude, I don't think she speaks English. That's kind of the whole concept of the show. He's not even phrasing it like a question, which makes the whole thing way more confusing. These guys keep talking about a connection they feel just from staring at them for a couple minutes. It's like my eyes are speaking louder than my words ever could, you know? We had like a connection of souls for a minute there. What's your Instagram? Now let's see how the blueberry guy does. Let's see if the same can be said for him. Couple of blueberries. So these girls are just chilling here and everything's all quiet. And then the blueberry guy comes flying out of nowhere and scares the crap out of everyone. Would you like to step ah. outside? outside? Yeah. Saimos? Yes. Okay. Step outside. outside. Why does he sound like he's all out of breath? I think he just got done doing push-ups outside to hype himself up. He's like, you know what? I can't speak the same language as her, but the least I could do is get all sweaty and then unbutton my shirt. What am I supposed to do on the date tomorrow, though? If I can't even talk to her, how am I going to impress her? I wish I brought my juggling balls. All women love a juggler. It's a known fact. Your eyes were what got me. Um, would you yes or no on a date? Yes or no. I don't know what to think at this point because I ask her something and she doesn't even respond. It's like she speaks some some kind of foreign language. So next they all go on the date and it's somehow even more awkward than you'd expect. Someone commented on my last video and made a very good point that I agree with. There were a lot of creative or interesting things they could have done with this concept, but instead they're just going to do the same thing that every other reality show does. If they had charged head on at this concept and made the show more about that, it could have actually been something, but instead they're just going to go to a waterfall and jump in the water and then have the most awkward date in history. We're on we're on our way to the date. You guys excited? You guys excited? You excited? Nobody seems excited. Oh look, he went full blueberry just for the occasion. The couples have arrived to a secluded lagoon where they will each have a private picnic. Oh geez. I love how the show is basically going out of its way to make this as awkward as possible for them. They could have incorporated language learning into the show as a game or something, but no, instead they're gonna sit them down on a private secluded date, knowing damn well they're not gonna have anything to say to each other. Obviously nobody's gonna learn a whole language on this show, I'm not saying that, but that would at least be something they could bond over to, to start off. Otherwise you literally have nothing Nothing to go off of. You can only play charades for so long. That means they're inevitably going to have to try to figure out some words in order to talk to each other. So why doesn't the show just facilitate that? I need to learn German. I need a translator. Well, you're not going to get one. I want to ask her specific questions and I just can't ask her any of the questions. I feel like they just say this over and over again. They're, they're like, I, I just want to talk to her. I know. I know you do. I wish that it could happen at this point because I'm tired of hearing it. How is this going to be a whole season? They better have a hell of a lot of blueberries ready because this is going to be a long one. A blueberry for me. So then they all go ziplining and they jump into the water and it's like I could be watching any reality show at this point It looks no different. How many times do we need to see a show like this where everyone's just on an island running around ziplining drinking champagne on a boat Even if a show has a different idea They can't help but resort to all the reality stereotypes at this point I'm just gonna refer to all these shows collectively as douche island. I've experienced true love before and I know 
that I'll experience it again and one day settle down in it forever. Okay. People need to understand that true love doesn't just like grow on trees acorns do. Leaves also grow on trees. So does bark. These are things that grow on trees. True love is not one of those things. So, erzähl mir bitte ein bisschen mehr über dich. Ich brauche mehr Informationen. One more time. Ich wollte wissen Just one more time. über dein äh, Papa. I'll get it, don't worry. Mama. One more time. Ich wollte wissen über dein äh, Papa. Yeah, he's not getting it. I wish I could like understand French right now, but it's like really hard. She keeps making all these noises that sound like words, but they're not, and it's throwing me off. And honestly, I don't even know if I could picture myself moving to Germany, although I have always wanted to see the Great Wall of China. What? No. Mama? Wait, what? No. <laughs> John. I wish we could understand each other more. Don't worry, dude. One more time, you'll get it. V? What does that mean? I have, I have dich nicht verstanden. What? That clip right there pretty much summarizes the whole show. Everyone's just all confused in a tropical setting. That's it. It's just tropical confusion. But does that stop them from trying to find love and thinking they're in love from looking at somebody's eyes for 10 seconds? No, of course not. All right, now it's time to check in on the blueberry guy and see how his date is going. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> ah, ooh, pineapple. <laughs> pineapple. Blueberry. Pineapple. What, what what pineapple? All right, let's just let's take the fruit away from him. You gotta cool it with the fruit, dude. Me, you, pineapple. What do you say? Me, you, and a pineapple. Me, pineapple. You, pineapple. We, pineapple. You, your eyes. Mm -hmm. When I saw your eyes, I could see uh, your eyes. When I looked into your eyes, it felt like I was looking into the eyes of someone who was looking into my eyes. Honestly, I'm having a great time on this date. I could not have asked for a better pineapple. So anyway, things actually go pretty well here. They jump in the water and they. End up kissing. As goofy as this guy is, he may be the most genuine out of the three of them, but I think it's too early to tell for sure. Now, the last date with this guy ends up going the most poorly, I think partially because he's looking at her like this. I'm happy. I know little about you. This guy ends up taking the charades route to the next level and he just does this the whole time. I definitely understand feeling the need to explain things this way if you don't know how else to communicate, but it just makes the whole conversation even more awkward. What are you passionate about? I think she's just here for the free champagne, bro. I like how he just sits and waits for an answer. You ask what she's passionate about. How is she supposed to answer that question? And how are you going to be able to understand her answer? You're pretty much going to have to ask basic questions like pineapple guy. I may have made fun of pineapple guy the most, but pineapple guy has gotten his shit together. He's graduated from blueberry to pineapple. Wait, is that the direction you go? Would you go from pineapple to blueberry or blueberry? Just tell me in the comments, what's better, blueberry or pineapple? And then everybody argue with each other about it. And then let's make a reality show about that, which would definitely be a million times better than whatever this show is what do you do for fun pineapple so this guy is unable to come up with anything and now he's just frozen he let the blueberry guy outdo him how do you think he feels right now and it's even worse because i think to begin with she already was not that into this guy yeah, don't follow, don't follow. i'm talking i'm talking i'm talking and he's acting like he's understanding me with a blank look on his face this show just feels completely pointless. It's just designed to make everybody uncomfortable. Well, I guess that it, that's the point. I'm curious to see if they actually do anything with this idea for the rest of the season or if they just keep having them go on awkward dates like this. Você tem filho? Uh, a couple, maybe. Você tem? Yeah. Um bebê? So now she's asking if he has kids and he thinks she's asking if he wants kids. But because he pretends he understands everything and answers with full confidence, she thinks he actually does have two kids. When I was younger, Oh. I thought genius. By now I would have one kid. So now this is just getting completely out of control and this guy doesn't know what he's saying and he doesn't know what she's saying and she doesn't know what he's saying. She thinks that he wants to get married on this show so she probably thinks that he's crazy. And as I think I mentioned in the last video, I can't even say if this would have gone better if they did understand each other. Are you looking? Ah, se eu gostei de marriage? Pra casar? Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face right here. He's like, yeah, no, yes, I, I, anything you want me to say, I will say. How do I say I hate this? I don't know what to say. How do I say I don't know what to say? I hate this. Marriage, love, me, pineapple, marriage, pineapple. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Don't forget to check out the first part if you missed it. I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. Let me know if you think blueberry or pineapple is better. Now I'm actually just genuinely curious. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. I wish we could understand each other 
morning. I know I'm coming from a little island. I know I'm not American. <laughs>